Welcome to Grown Ass Women TV. Yes, that's a hashtag. Hashtag Gaw TV. Make sure that you use that hashtag to join the discussion on social media. Ladies, it's Wednesday. It's our favorite day of the week. We get to catch up, and this is going to be a great show today. Oh, so absolutely. So Woo! excited. Val, I can't stop staring at you. You look so beautiful. Oh, oh no. This whole thing. This old mug. This old mug. This old This old thing. You, you, you oh might be glad I'm not in my birthday suit. I mean, I was pretty excited about tonight and I've been having some gin. It could it, it, it get weird. We don't know. Oh, no, gin. <laughs> yeah, gin. You know that one, Lisa. Mother's ruined. Yeah. Mother's ruined. Well, mama <laughs> needs a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Well, we're so excited you. for our I, guest I, today. I also, I want to interject um, to all the live chat people. Thank you for always being there and being in the live chat. We try to respond to everybody we can. It goes really super fast. And um, like myself, I text really slow and type t slow. So we apologize. We don't respond to everybody in the chat. So but thank you so much for being here. You know, here. she's right. It's just so exhausting being so popular that we have all these people in the chat that want to talk to us. It's a real problem we have, you guys. I know, yeah. I know, I know. Real but issue. It, feed, it feeds up like this, and you're like, oh, wait, who was who even did said who something? I, <laughs> totally. Who totally. was I? Who was I typing back to? One thousand percent. And we so appreciate everyone in the chat room. If you're watching this on replay, we're in the chat room every single Wednesday at five p.m. Eastern, watching the show as you are as it premieres. And before we get going on this fantastic episode, that's going to be so much fun. Please do us a favor, do us a flave, and like this video. Boop. Give us that thumbs up, uh-huh. Please do us a favor and subscribe to our channel. And here we go, it's Lisa's favorite part. And please click that bell icon to enable notifications so you never miss, ooh, you never miss I a- I was looking for one of those. Oh. I swear, I went to CVS. I know one. You have to like stop it in time so it doesn't keep dangling. Uh, yeah. Is that you know, a cow that's a cowbell? It's kind of like a cowbell, but I feel like I got this in Korea maybe when I went because I have this. Cool. Korean bell in here. I told you, I'm, cool. I'm getting kind of all Very set up cool. in my, my house. So, you know. Your spirit room. Yeah. The spirit room. Well, that's yes. what the show needs, more cowbell. I think I think that's just what it needs. But when speaking now, of- More cowbell. More cowbell, yeah. <laughs> Hashtag more cowbell. But if you love us here on YouTube, you're gonna love the Gawcast. It's always evolving and more episodes are readily available and they're being updated all the time. The link is in the description. Obviously you can listen to us wherever you listen to your podcast. It's such a fun show visually, but if you can't make it to the YouTube, you can go on, you know, wherever you listen to podcasts, you know, if you're having a workout, if you're on a long drive, we could be right up in there in your earbuds. All right, up in, right up in there. Get in there. <laughs> Get in there. <laughs> well, Lisa, you're clearly not in your usual studio. I want to know what the hell's going on. And I, did you bring a friend? I am in a beautiful resort of the best Western. Oh, <laughs> it's the best. The best Western. I've stayed in a few worst right Westerns now. before. <laughs> yeah. It, it, yeah, we're in the middle. It's, it's a lot of industrial buildings. That's Nothing's around. But um, yes, I am in a hotel. I have an appearance today, a signing with um, Jimmy's um, World o Order. And that's today. And I have, I'm doing a signing with one of the best tag team partners I've ever had, Brooke Chessmacher. Woo! Oh, oh, boo, boo. Back that up. up. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. You guys are just drop it low. <laughs> Welcome, Brooke, to the show. Hi, guys. Oh, that was amazing. Oh, oh, I'm so happy to see you. So happy to see you. I honestly, like, I am actually selfishly excited because I was just saying to the girls, I'm like, why don't we keep in touch more? It's nice to be able to catch up on the show like this. First of all, <laughs> so glad to have you here. It's really What's hard. that? I don't keep up with anybody that much You're anymore. It's a lot to have a full-time job, two kids, husband. Work. It's like, I'm like, oh, you need something? Oh, shit. Let me add that to the list. <laughs> It's well, a lot. Oh, it you is said a lot. you came out, she came out a, a day earlier so you can kind of have just like a brook me time. Brook, yeah. I literally just wanted to stare at the wall. Just oh. yeah, the wall with not here. Snack. I'm not snack. Oh, you're oh, them <laughs> asking for snack. Snack. Like, I don't I was, know if you're gonna love this show because we very often ask for snacks. So you I don't know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> don't ask me for anything. Mom, wipe my butt. Mom, my butt. Mom, yeah, make me ask that. 
I'm done. My God. My God. How old are your little little ones now? They're probably not as little as I remember seeing. I know. Uh, four and two. They're still pretty oh, small, yeah. so they still very needy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> They're freaking That's awesome. awesome though. My daughter, she was born on Halloween. I'm like, oh my god, my it's favorite. black like your soul. <laughs> <laughs> she is so mean. Is god, she? She, she is so mean, and like my son. That's how you get tricked into having another one, even though they're both accidents. But like I thought, oh, he's so easy. He's so easy. He's so Same sweet. And then I birthed this demon that I love to death. Don't get it wrong, but Jesus. Yeah. Oh my God. She's just so mean and so attitude and everything's like, oh no. Like two. Terrible two. Oh, you got first. You got first. <laughs> Yeah, you got punished. You got a, a, a mini brook. I'm like, oh God. That's what happened. You got yourself. You got your, that's the thing about girls. And I think like I, I, with D, I had D first and D is so like, obviously they go through their little stages, but he is, he's so sweet. And so he's such a mommy's boy, like, and that's yeah, my baby. fault, but it's a good thing too. Yeah. But I am terrified because they say the first is the second is always the complete opposite of the first. Night and day. Like I look at them. First of all, I don't look alike either. She's got bright blue eyes. He's got dark mm -hmm. brown eyes. Yeah, because we've got blue on on the grandparent side on both sides. Uh -huh. But A to Z, they could not be any more different. I'm like, how did you both come from the same parents? And you don't look alike at all. <laughs> like, like my son's just the sweetest, softest thing, and he's so his his vernacular. It's crazy. It's crazy. He says program, mom. I don't like this program. Where the hell do you see that? It's so <laughs> cute. Program. It is. It's very English. Is it? It's so weird. It's like, oh, those children over there. Like, <laughs> like, where do you get this from? Certainly it's not me. I and love then, that. Those yeah, he's, I, he will literally melt your heart. And then her, she's like, I'll rip it out. <laughs> weird. He's there. He's there to rip it out. I'll tell you, I, I, my. When I first had her, I was like, how did I birth this dainty? cute little thing yeah no around two that changed mm -hmm. she's evil she likes the mud she just stares at my son like what can i jab what can i pull i'm gonna trip him i'm gonna hide over here i'm gonna trip him down no. the stairs just a flat <laughs> stair it'll be funny it'll be great, <laughs> it's great. Daughter, bless her heart i'm the youngest of, of two of three girls and my mom has always said that girls are more expensive and they're more drama like I have a nephew, he kind of like bashes things around and is more like, you know, he kind of wants to be a little yeah. bruiser, like destroy stuff. But for the most part, they always say girls are a nightmare. What's wrong with our gender? Pretty much the same. My son's like, God, he goes a mile a minute, just crazy. And then she's super dramatic and just mean. And everything's about her. Like, yeah. throws herself on the ground. And I never had that with Jay. So I'm like, what the hell is this? Oh what my God. You know what? I'm going to leave you there for a minute. I'll come back. I'll yeah. come back. Um, I'll revisit he, this. He would do that when we would go to restaurants. Like that was a real thing oh, we went through at restaurants. He doesn't like to be, I don't know if it's a sensory thing, but he doesn't like to be in a lot of like real crowded, noisy spaces. He would crawl under the table. It got to a point where we didn't go to eat, out to eat for like two years. We didn't. Because he would oh. literally crawl underneath the table and not come out, just kind of be down there. Oh, Did you? Embarrassing. Uh, it was mortifying. You just go like, did you not like when he was really really small did he not go out in public a whole lot or was no, he, he went to the wrestling shows he came backstage he was always backstage he did like no he met cast of characters or whatever it was only in like seated big table environments like where it was a big party like a big family sit down not at somebody's house not at like whatever only at restaurants where then there was tables all around but like we went to a restaurant last night and he was totally fine i mean it's huh. maybe it's it's crazy now he's kind of growing out of it a but bit. also too her son is like allergic to everything she had to get rid of her dogs no like um yeah. your snake um like i um so i'm super anti-vax and i'm proud to say it everybody can hate on me but i remember when i did the tlc show for rattled you know it's about becoming a new parent um i spoke about how i was just you know, I, I couldn't find enough research on the vaccinations and everybody just ripped me a new one. And I'm like, I don't care. You guys compare what we took as a child and what our parents took at a child to what children take today. And they triple that amount. Right. There's no way. And it's not that I'm completely anti-vax. It's really 
all of them together and what they're putting into these vaccines. I'm sorry, we don't need he heavy metals and formaldehyde in our body. That leads to autism, that leads to um, dementia. So when I started researching it, it, I didn't get enough information to when I had my son and when I had him, I got peer pressured in the hospital and I went ahead and gave him the, the hepatitis B. And then I spaced out some of the other ones. And then I waited till my daughter was born before I gave him the MMR because, you know, there's all these different conflicting stories. Does it give them autism? Does it not? And now there's real science that it does. It leaves metal in the brain, which causes Alzheimer's. So, um, so with her, I gave her the hepatitis B and she turned purple and blue in my arms, spiked 105 fever instantly. They ripped her from my arms at 17 hours old and I didn't see her for like four hours. And I was like, oh my God, what the hell? And I couldn't get up. I couldn't go get her because I tore so bad. And I just kept calling and kept calling like, she's going to be fine. She's going to be fine. I'm like, what? I want to see her. Like, yeah. can you, can you bring her in here? They're like, sorry, we can't. Um, so I went ahead and said, okay, maybe that was just like a freak thing. And I gave my son the MMR and it took us two years to figure it out. But once we added up when he had the MMR vaccine to when he started having the reaction, he now has a 1% allergy that he'll have for the rest of his life. He can't be around any animals. He can't have a preservative, a sugar, a cake, eggs, uh, most vegetables, most fruit, everything dairy. has to be all no, dairy. Oh, all dairy. Yeah, no dairy. What's no, no dairy. No dairy. Oh Stuff my God. Yeah, it is like everything you make him has to be straight from the fridge to the, the pan to his plate. So there's no grabbing something quick from fast food. It's been pure hell. And everyone's like, why are you so tired? I'm like, <laughs> oh. and you're working. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it, it's been, it's been a struggle. It's, it's been hard. Yeah. Um, it, That's something that I've also gone back and forth with the vaccine and I got Donovan all the vaccines and I tried to space them out or whatever. And they say that stuff, you know, and, and, um, I say this, but I've like, I've had Donovan tested just because his speech therapy, his speech was slow, his speech was behind and different things. And we all learn in different paths and I never want to say, Oh, I'm going to label my child yeah, or whatever, it's but it's just slow. to know their learning paths yeah. and how they kind of process information and stuff. But there was a significant difference when I remember it was right before it was like about 14 months that booster he got then yeah. where I go like, so like there was a weird, and I've said this to, I've talked to Trish about it. And it's just so interesting that you bring it up because I was like, I don't know what that booster was, but it was a bigger one that had a couple different in there. And I was like, there was a significant change that happened to me, for me, like as a I mom. It like, was the same one that I gave Jace. He was supposed to have it at 14 months, but I pushed it till after he was two because I was just so freaked out over vaccines. And mm -hmm, I never mm -hmm. even wanted, I was like, I'm never going to give him that one at all. Well, mm -hmm. then I was taking him to daycare and they're like, we can't take him unless you give it to him. Oh, and like, I was like, right. well, F2, I'm going to another yep. one. I went to another one. And they're like, no. sorry. Wow. And I'm like, oh my God. So I went to another one. And that was the last one that was even near. And I'm like, well, I guess like I, I have to. And then the peer pressure from everybody else. Yeah. Comes. Well, because you feel that way because childcare places and everywhere and school, when you go to enroll them in school, even private schools, you still, they have to be vaccinated up to a thing. So then it's like, well, then you have to, if you are a working mother or a or parents you can't homeschool just, and work and I don't have help. I've never had yeah. help ever. I don't have that luxury. So that was literally my only choice. And I went ahead with it now to this day. I would rather have downsized my entire house, got rid of everything, not have the expensive bills that I had to take away what this did to him. Because it's something that he'll have most likely for the rest of his life. So no, I, well, we'll pray about it, but I feel like, you know, we go through stages where we, you know, people, there's allergies that you kind of grow out of, or you grow a certain immunity to, you know, as you adapt to like certain levels. My sister's yeah. super allergic. She has tons of allergies too. She has like, she can't go outside. She has to take allergy medicine every single day. Yeah. So she's allergic to like everything, but cedar trees, but some she's been able to have a pet, but it's just the way she's like the type of pets she has and like the um. different I know it sucks, but it's just uh, dairy. It the thing he's actually allergic to, we could maybe bring back the other right. stuff. He's an intolerance he'll have for the rest of his life. So there's yeah. people don't understand. There's a complete difference between al alert allergies and intolerances, and then mm -hmm. intolerances can literally kill you. Right. So he carries an epipen everywhere we go. Yeah. Yeah. Like right. 
And he's only two, you said, right? Bless his little heart. He's four. Four. four he's now. the four year old. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Bless so his heart. He, yeah, he started this uh, at two. I thought it was, I was sticking him outside in the dirt. Yeah. <laughs> trying to get these really cute, uh, what was it, uh, St. Patrick's Day photos. <laughs> and I got the dog out there. I'm like, I picked him up and he's got all this stuff on his butt. And I'm like, way to go, Brooke. How to get that picture? He's stuck him in bugs, dirt. I thought that's what it was on his butt that was eating him up. I'm like, how to have these stupid ass pictures? <laughs> <laughs> Look what I did to my kid. CPS is going to be calling any day. <laughs> but it's still there. I was like, maybe it's eczema. Oh, I'll put some powder on it. It'll be all right. And then it just never went away and it kept getting worse and it was moving up his body. And then yeah, turned into a good two two year process, and here we are. Wow, wow. Yeah. Well, Lisa yeah. just mentioned that you're working through all of this. I mean, like you said, you're you're a working mom, and we noticed that you've been posting about your real estate um, career now, which is really cool. Can you tell us about that? Man, it is a tough, tough market. I can tell you that. I got into it to first. I started with this company. It's called Redfin, and essentially, it was an associate agent role. And I thought, okay, I'll just open up doors. And that's it. I don't have to fill out any paperwork. I don't deal with it already. I just see cool houses. Great. And then I'll go home and be with my kids. And I did that for about a year and I was making really good money. And they kept trying to promote me and promote me. It's like, <laughs> I don't really want responsibilities. Yeah. I already have too Ew. much. Yeah. <laughs> I have to grow up. Extra work, more work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I finally busy it up. But yeah. And I'm glad I made the jump. Um, it is a lot of work. I mean, I work seven days a week, but I've got to for my son and his, what, what it costs to really feed him and his medical bills and everything like that. But it's been awesome. It's been exciting because I'm not in an office. Mm -hmm. I, I work out of my house and then I work on the road to go. Right. To very so cool. It's very, very exciting, but it's, it's a challenging market because everybody's buying right now, incredibly low interest rates. So if you're moving to Houston, <laughs> Give me a call. Oh my God. I honestly, I you. was born in El Paso, but lived in Houston. We've had this conversation, I think. And I love, 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 love Texas. It's, I, yeah, I've yeah. always said like, I wouldn't be surprised if I ever ended up back in Texas living there. I yeah. love it. It's, you think I'm Alan would go to Texas? Everywhere. I always go back. I always go back. It's a food totally. Yeah. To answer Mickey's question, I just have to laugh because Alan in Texas would be effing hysterical. I always say he's, he's too British to function. Like he's like, what you think of a British per like cravat, like he's that so they'd be like what is this it'd be hilarious we should just do it for funny purposes oh my God. he's not from around these parts no. you from around here are you you know what and i was just talking to my sister about this in new orleans which i don't know how he's never been to texas but in new orleans he didn't translate no one could understand a damn word he said bless his heart and new orleans no one and at starbucks for example he said can i have an espresso or whatever and they just looked at me like what, what, what was that? He said it was like those sounds he was making. He, they, he didn't, they didn't understand a word he said. It was so funny. Well, in New Orleans is such a unique accent anyway, because some people have to they, double they listen to what they say. That. It was so funny. Uh, I can't understand this. Yeah. 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 Totally, yeah. yeah. It, was, it was hysterical, my God. Well, we have to get to our favorite part of the show. I could talk about Alan's uh, American Adventures, Englishman in New York <laughs> stories forever, because it is funny. We'll do more of those sort of reality type shows with God when we can actually travel. But our favorite part of the show, Brittini, is who are you wearing? And what are you drinking, girls? I think our guest of honor should go first. Yes, yes. I saw some interlocking G's. Mm-hmm. Shit! Oh, 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 oh. I only take hundreds, okay? Oh, oh, damn. I gotta go to the ATM. <laughs> I'm wearing Gucci, with Gucci, actually. And these are express. Can we talk about how cute these are? Oh, look at your, <laughs> look at your rump. I Wait, know. do you guys know that these- Rump's gonna rump. Now, did y'all know that this means you're old? Yes, the torn skinny jeans. Have you guys seen that they're bringing back the old school, like, 80s <laughs> pants that are, like, poofy right here? Like, like mom jeans. The mom like, jeans. Like, but AC like, Slater style. style. Yes. <laughs> and that is what's in style. And this is literally shouting out to Generation Z that we are geriatric. I need a freaking diaper. My titties are down to my belly button. Someone help me. I'm no. Like, Nuh-uh. That's You're so crazy. Best. Yes. And the laughing emoji apparently says, oh, you're old. And then if you part your hair down the middle, you're old. So it's back to the old. This is the style now. I've, I kind of always, I don't really know it naturally. <laughs> yeah. I've always worn a side too. 
Well, I think you've good. always done it more like. You're in. Yes, you, you're in. I've always you're wanted to wear a part in the middle, but I have a calic. Me too. So they're like I, this. I do yeah. have a, a strong side like thing right here. I've always had a strong, it's like my peak. So I, that's why I've always kind of done it before there and done it over here. So it's not quite a side. Yeah, the zigzag. <laughs> Remember the yeah, zigzag? Like that's that. old, but it looks cool. Well, I thought a middle part was like modern because I, I would always do like the kind of Jessica rabbit kind of thing. And then I thought, oh, I'm going to be cool and do like a middle part and do more Farrah Fawcett. Yeah. Everything comes back. Everything's cyclical. It'll come back into fashion. But I mean, go home with fashion. You're drunk. If you're telling us that A.C. Slater is now in style, I can't. Wait, come on. Saying, so the stonewash jeans kind of thing with the pat big like pouchy. The hideous. They're hideous. It's Why? Hideous. Yes. It, they're all about the whispering. Like, you know what we need to get away from is like, speaking of jeans, like Abercrombie and Fitch and that whole, excuse my language, I hate them. You know, that whole like whiskering and like they look all like dirty and I don't know. And there's like $4. In no. style. You know what I don't like though on men? Those freaking skinny jeans. Oh, I love it. Oh, I, I love them on the person. right men. I on love right right them. Not all men should be wearing skinny exactly. jeans. Exactly, exactly. Because right. I watched you know? The Bachelor, you know, and Bachelorette. And they're skinny jeans. Some of them should not be wearing the skinny jeans. I am not not all jeans are right. created equal. No. I'm not feeling, what's the same? And bad? not every pair of jeans needs to be skinny jeans. You know what yeah. I mean? But a lot, there's a fair amount of men that rock the skinny jeans that probably should yeah. not. But then they probably, I should, it just doesn't, it doesn't do any benefits to their body, you know? That's what's like, oh. But they do look super comfortable. Can we talk Baldwin. about how comfortable but they are? They so cozy. <laughs> yeah. That, hey, Mickey, yeah. they've got pockets, girl. They've got pockets. They got I'm pockets. Like, oh, maybe I was get hating a little too quick. Wait a minute. Yeah, maybe. I can't. I can't. That's Haley Baldwin, though. I mean, with 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 the Haley Everything. Baldwins and the Kendall Jenners and all this street style. I mean, we all make mistakes, but theirs are very, very well documented, unfortunately. And <laughs> I just can't stand some of these 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 casual athleisure. It should be a curse word. I can't with that. The good thing about you know this whole pandemic like easing up with lockdowns is that people. I keep reading articles that people are actually really excited to dress up, and it's like stop saving your going out out outfits for you know just an you know something special. Wear it all. Wear it all. Wear it all. Wear it all. You yes. can't pay me to do my hair or makeup right now you guys are lucky i was like oh shit i know <laughs> i really I know we hate it too mickey and i were like it's oh, a I lot do my face i don't yeah no, it's, i want day. to always have it's like i need a reason to put on my face like i think that's a whole thing it's like but where i've gone a little bit more now recently going like oh maybe i should put on my makeup. it's just like it's an extra 30 minutes to throw on your that face i don't feel like doing <laughs> yeah because I'm usually running behind already, you know? Yeah. yeah. People don't realize, like, we'll do interviews, and they'll be like, okay, well, is it audio or video? And they'll go, oh, it's audio. Oh, we meant video. Well, that's a whole other hour of, like... Yeah, when you just, like, yeah. interviews, you're yeah. like, going, hold on, is this video or is this freaking podcast? Yeah. 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 It's an extra. Like that. Now, what are you wearing? Oh, well, I, was, I didn't think we even oh, got to know. what book was drinking. Oh, oh Sorry boring whoa <laughs> that's the prettiest vodka bottle i've ever seen that's so cute that's that's vodka bottle. Cheers. cheers 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 well i will tell you cheers um i'm wearing a robe oh that's cute. It's very betty draper old school mad men this is actually my necklace is actually vintage just from one of the charity shops uh, i think portobello road in london little, little clip little heart of the ocean on my uh on the fingers okay. there. Swar <laughs> Swarovski, which that's like one of those words that nobody says. Like it's, it's Swarovski. <laughs> I don't think I've ever said it right. Swarovski. 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 You got one of them Swarovski rings? Yeah, but no, I'm in vintage today. I have to tell you though, I am drinking. Look at this beautiful bottle. That is nice. Oh, tiger yeah. gin, ruby red, the classic pink yeah. gin. And I put with some soda. It doesn't look like it's that pink in here, but it's delicious. Oh, it's making wow. me forget things, so I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> it is very good, though. It is quite lovely. Yeah, try Lisa, that. Never, never seen it. What am I drinking? What am I wearing? Yeah, Lisa, <laughs> you go next. We want to know. I'm seeing a Run DMC shirt. I have yeah. a Run DMC shirt because I, you know, Everybody makes fun of me when I do appearances. I wear my ring gear. I wear ring gear. We love that. So, yeah. So I don't, I didn't want to wear. Uh, it's, 
I'll start sweating. It's you know, the one the from the Rumble. Rumble. <gasps> Made by yeah. Jolene. Follow Jolene um, oh, on Twitter. Oh, well, Jolene. those people are so lucky. They're getting to take pictures with you in your Rumble gear. I thought, I thought it was special. That, bro. <laughs> I thought it was special too. You know what I mean? I, it's, I think you, know, you put you want the outfit extra fitty. Yeah, extra fitty. We take credit cards. <laughs> yeah. Charge it. <laughs> extra fun. Charge it. Make you say that? Oh, okay. Oh, I don't know. I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the gin. It's the gin. That's what I, it is. I poured myself a glass of wine just to. Do a drink God, with you that. guys, I don't know how you do that. What the no, hell? I'm so not cool anymore. What but happened? once it hits your lips, it's so it's good. It's crazy. Good. I'm not drinking either, Brookie. Don't feel bad. I got um my little coffee in my dream mug here. I just poured mine just, just to do it. I mean, but well, I did bring something up in case we were going to drink. <laughs> oh, okay. But just for a little safety, you know. Brooke, did did Lisa what what is that though, Mickey? I banana? Don't know. Well, I told you yeah, banana are, rum. It's banana, banana rum. 99, but it says 99 proof, but it's lying because it only says 49 point whatever percent alcohol, oh, 49.5. So, those bastards. But if, I'm thought, assuming it tastes like it's banana. Do, the shit is bananas. <laughs> You're bananas. You're bananas. But I thought, I thought when you say proof, like it's 100 proof, I thought it's 50% alcohol. I always thought it, you cut it in half. Am I wrong? No. no? I, I don't know. I, I don't know. know. Did we just well, learn something? Yeah. Whoa! Those kids <laughs> with the mom These jeans now, today. like we're so yeah. That just <laughs> happened. Mickey, what about your shirt? Yeah, my shirt. Oh, I'm wearing. Oh, I was just. I was just jumping. Uh, I'm wearing this Headlock on Hunger T-shirt, which they sent me. I don't know if you guys have seen Headlock on Hunger or if you follow. No, I never. You haven't. Found I like them? that. I know that um, Adam and Beth support them. Edge. But they're just, you know, Team Headlock on Hunger. You can follow them, hashtag Team Headlock on Hunger, or they're on Instagram and Twitter and all that good stuff. What are, well, they're, like, yeah, they're fighting hunger, you guys. That's but it's nice. mostly like a wrestling-related kind of community. Yeah. That right. yeah. So they sent me this. They sent Nick and I T-shirts a while back ago. You can see my little bleach stain because I apparently I cleaned the house in it. You know, that's what I do. <laughs> apparently clean the house in it. <laughs> or it has a hole. Or it has a hole. Socks on. Oh. Um, Socks that Nick okay. the little my butch. My dog butch. Oh cute. What are they? Right. These are these um tribe socks so that you can go and put your little images on your she likes, she misses her dogs, remember? Oh no. Sorry. First ever. I know. I miss him. He's at my mom's house right now because he's old. And when we moved everything down, when we were at the townhouse, the townhouse was on the second store, yeah, but it was like so three layers of steps, so it's too many stairs. And then here, when we moved everything down, my truck is so big and I was driving and Nick was driving the U-Haul down. So I didn't want to be physically the one I yeah. come up out of the truck. So he's not here yet, but I miss his little face. But oh. he's you know, she had, she had a dog named Jaws. 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 And, um, Jaws. Yeah, with the underbite. That's yeah, it. shovel face. Yes. Yeah. Oh Shovel God. face, hatchet face. And it has noodles and waffles. Oh. And then I, my dog, because you, you, you taught your dog. She used to teach um Jaws to scoot, 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 and he'll go like this on the belly, and he'll scoot with his legs mm -hmm. dead. Lovey does that. <laughs> I stole it from her, and I'm like, she knows it's playtime. And I go scoot, 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 scoot. So I try not to say it if I talk to you because it makes brings you down. But oh, that's I'm uh, scared. He did. I've never been able to pick up. I got him cremated and I still can't pick it up. And that was like three years oh. ago. I, like, oh, I can't do it. Yeah. My mom has it. My mom it's, has it. It's just, and now that I don't have my dogs, I'm like, I know. Yeah. That's it's awful. horrible. I'm trying to buy this one cat that's from freaking Ukraine. That's apparently the only one that's like the closest to actually being hypoallergenic. They say that's not even like a real thing. Right out of like their tear ducts oh. if they fart even <laughs> any I'm allergic to fart drip, <laughs> drip of wow. urine has, wow. has the animal protein in it so this is the only animal what, what is it oh uh, so it's not just like where you could get like a little Bichon freeze that the dog that's like that hyperallergenic dog yeah, yeah it, no. it's not like that it's a whole no, I other thought, thing I thought poodles were hyperallergenic nope, even down to like it's tear drop stuff oh. so like if you or when they lick yeah saliva so it's the dander that could be hyperallergenic and the hair but like all the other thing anything that can come out and be a secretion sounds yeah. gross but 
has animal protein in it and then we should. Work that's it. a word we don't really go to every day we hashtag <laughs> a lot of words here but i'm not sure secretion oh, that's a long word you know what's funny too is we had natty on the on, on did you and yeah she yeah. Guess, she the name up because you're the one that gizmo. gizmo gave it the persians and now she has 11 i started this <laughs> He was the coolest cat, and I remember her going, like, how did you get him like this? I'm like, I actually treat him like a dog. So when I bought him, like, I rode with him in the car. He sat on my shoulder. Everywhere I went, he went with me. In a bag, I put, I could walk him with a leash. He would get in the bathtub with me. What cat? It's like, yo, dude, scoot over. Let me get in. <laughs> no way. Bye. Bye. I, had a cat, like, I, had a, I had a Siamese cat that used to take a bath with me. Yeah. I had to shut the door because... It was so attached to yeah. me. I think it's though those breeds that are yeah. so attached they don't yeah. want to leave you alone. Yeah. That cat would jump in the tub yeah. with me. And of course I'm like my mom's like going, You're gonna get an infection, you're gonna get a UTI. Like something's gonna happen. <laughs> <I'm a cat. laughs> Did you hear? She goes, Mom, if you only knew. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, god. oh that's amazing. <laughs> wow. You never know what you're going to hear. We, we, we do tell people this is an unfiltered show, so they're just making sure that you remember that. Yeah. I do want to ask you, Brooke, though, you were on the Knockouts Roundtable on the Impact Plus app. Um, and so we were talking to ODB, who's back at Impact Wrestling, and talking to different people about the Roundtable discussions. But how was that for you? I thought it was really cool. And, you know, everybody's like, I, I get sad. I get sad when I talk about wrestling and they're like, well, you know, what do you, what's your favorite thing on TV now? I'm like, I don't watch it. I can't watch it. Whenever I watch it, I just get so choked up. Not, and it's like, I don't think I could physically wrestle again. Maybe I could, I probably could, but you, could. you just get really sad. You know, once you've been a performer and a, a wrestler, it's just in your blood, you know? And so when you see mm -hmm. it, like, damn, one more match. Yeah, one, one more, match. yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Never say never, man. Right? Never. Yeah, never say never. Like we say, like Ric Flair. You don't I know. Retire, I know. Dude. I know. But you're way like younger it. than him. You could do it. <laughs> At least two years. By two years. <laughs> Well, we actually have some Twitter questions uh, for you. The first one is from DJ Tetro UK. He says his question is, which part of at CBS Amazing Race did you enjoy the most? You had a, such a cool career with reality television and the Amazing Race, everyone knows, was, was such a great time for you and it's so much fun to watch. If I could go back and do one show over again, it would be the race. Like I would leave tomorrow. That was the coolest show by far. I do wish you guys got to see more of of what happens because you only get to see such a small percentage you know and it's they're like surely they help you i'm like oh the they don't yeah you literally are like so hi hi it's you with the camera yeah i'm reading it i don't get it no i don't get it it's like read the clue i'm like so i did i did that first <laughs> did it i don't get it what, what do i do <laughs> and they're just like figure out read the clue i'm like Fuckers, say, yeah, say yeah. that one more time but I think that my favorite part on the race was to get to see it wasn't really so much of a, a specific challenge but to go to these countries and every challenge really incorporates something that's oh. part of their culture so when we went to Marrakesh Africa all jokes aside like I'm like oh my god I'm gonna see an elephant I want to see lions I yeah. want to see giraffes I want to see it all yeah. we're gonna go like find a tribe and dance with them yeah why is this this is not there's no animals there's no nothing. I'm like, where the hell's the giraffe, man? I'm like, I love God. Giraffes. I know. So when I got the clue, when we were going to Africa, that's what I envisioned. And then when I mm -hmm. got there, and it was more Middle Eastern. Well, it taught me that the different parts of Africa and the cultures, but like we got to go into their little city. I had to, um, it's disgusting. I had to skin goat skin from formaldehyde, take it wow. and deliver it to like where they make leather. Yeah, it's really Ooh. gross the smell the smell this girl one of the girls that actually won the whole thing fell into one of the big pits of oh. the maldehyde they're huge they're massive pits of barrels the smell you can't it's like the whole time while you're skinning how did she skinning. fall in she fell in the formaldehyde so she's really clumsy and she, <laughs> she they were the scientists so like they weren't you know, oh, yeah, she's man. like, yeah, walks, you know, like the super sweet girl, love her to death, but she fell into the entire thing. I'm like, whoa, get away from me. You're going to be okay, but you got to get away from me. Wow. How's her skin now, though? It must be. Blown. I know. I bet she's like perfect. 
got like an, a horn growing out of her head. <laughs> yeah. Other than that, it's great. She looks exactly. wonderful. And then Lovely. we had to like, another thing in Africa, we had to churn butter. So bringing in, incorporating what these, what everybody does in this country, you know, I was like, I will never, ever regret going to a store, right. grabbing my mm -hmm. butter and putting it in my cart. To churn butter, let me tell you, it's like four sticks, pig skin that you get to put your mouth on. It's great. The string that you tie it with is intestines of a pig. Oh, Lord. You take milk. So we got to grab oh. some goats and physically, <laughs> again, something I had to do myself because, well, my manly partner wasn't so manly. Um, so I had to milk them, oh. take that milk put it in this wonderful sack of skin that smells like asshole. <laughs> oh my God. Blow that skin up, wrap it with that beautiful string of intestine. I'm like, okay, I got it. You gotta got just it. keep on shaking it. it. I'm like, okay, cool. So how long? He's like, you got about six hours. I'm like, what the? You had to do it for six hours? It's hours. So. Yuck. And you get this like, Motion with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I love you. I can so feel it. It's clapping. Yeah. We got some butter. Butter <laughs> dive. And you switch back and forth, back and forth. And then you take it and you have to go over and weigh it. You have to have a specific amount to, to be able to pass this challenge. But it took hours and hours to do it and I just really appreciated just what we have you yeah. know we are so blessed and we don't realize you know how easy it is we just go get our butter and you have this entire family out there and that's how they make their butter mm -hmm, and it's right. in hours and then even wow. in the Philippines what I learned there it's pretty incredible I broke down crying what was this there's just no they have no uh, sewer system. They have no um, trash system. So everything's out on the streets, high, high poverty. Um, and they treated us like we were royalty when we got there, just because mainly we had clean clothes and we had a bath. And it was just pretty heartbreaking to see that. It just, I learned a lot from it. I didn't take home a million dollars, but I, I learned to s stop bitching about what I don't have because yeah. I have so much. And these people literally, I can't even tell you how excited they were just to touch me, just to hug me, you know, and it, the smell in this city. And you're like, wow, it, the, it's, it's pretty, pretty devastating to see it. And it just, it made my day to see just how yeah. excited they were just to be in our presence yeah. and be part of the show. Cool. That's amazing. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. That's an amazing yeah. experience on the amazing race. A lot of amazing stuff going on <laughs> we'll, do, we'll do one more twitter question and then i know we got to let you guys go to your signing i know you've got fans waiting and they're so excited to see you guys but this one is from chris padbury he's actually a buddy of mine here in the uk and he asks what is the one thing that makes brooke proud to be a texan proud to be a texan um, yeah one thing like about what is the question like about the state or like he what said, I, i'm sure answers would differ from texan to texan so this could be interesting to learn so i guess maybe what is it about you that or, or about texas that you identify with i just love that we really feel like we're our own country yeah totally I, <laughs> like i really do you know and i've lived all over and there's just something about texas people um when I lived in the East Coast, like I just felt like, no offense anybody, but most people were just so rude. And I don't know if it's really rude or if everybody's so fast. And in Texas, like everybody feels like really your family member or your neighbor. And I value that so much, you know, I do. Like yes. in every time somebody visits, like everybody's just so nice here, you know, yeah. and it's a respectful thing. So that's what I'm really proud about in our Texas Tex-Mex. Oh my, no, don't even, no. don't even with me in England. Oh, no. It's the one thing that I cannot, they don't get it here. And it's, it's the one thing I miss more than anything. So we've got to let you guys get to your signing. There's some amazing fans that I'm sure are standing by waiting to meet you guys. Hundreds of thousands. Thousands <laughs> of them waiting to, yeah. And you're like, yeah, they're going to love you guys. And uh, yeah. we want to make sure that we can find you online. So if the fans want to find your merchandise, I know you have an eBay store. Tell us about that and tell us about where they can find you on social media. Absolutely, absolutely. So you can find me on social media at Real Brooke Adams for Twitter and Instagram, and I believe it's the Brooke Adams on Facebook, which I'm on Facebook jail right now. So don't don't be hearing, don't expect to hear from me soon. I'm in prison doing Ooh, doing some serious. You're so time. dangerous. For thirty oh days, God, I'm like, oh, what am I gonna house. do with myself for thirty days? Yeah, that's a whole other story. But 
sell right now. Brooke Adams Direct on my eBay store. I've got the action figures. I've got the posters. I've got calendars, eight by tens, banners, you name it, t-shirts. Um, and I promote that all on my social media handles. So we love that. Well, it's been so much fun having you here. We could talk to you all night, obviously, but I know that we want to get you guys off to your signing. And we want to say thank you so much for being, first of all, a grown-ass woman in life and oh. as our friend. But cheers to you, all your success. Cheers. I, I love you guys. Have fun today. This is the word. Go, yo, go.